So, cultural appropriation. I keep seeing these articles about like a black chick gets mad because a white girl has braids. Like, first of all, is this really happening? I'm, I'm asking people like, do you know of, of situations where this is really going on? Cause, cause part of me thinks this is just the media trying to stir up race tensions. Like, I mean, I know it is to the degree that they push these stories, but I'm just wondering, like, does this shit even actually happen at all, ever? Because it's so ridiculous, like, it, it, I, I, I wonder that. But th this idea, this social justice warrior idea of cultural appropriation is one of the most absurd and insane things that I've ever heard. And, I, and I've heard all of the shit that they have to say, so that's saying something. This, I think, it might be the most absurd uh, except for the, the the black people can't be racist thing like that that takes the cake but this this just one step down from that as the social justice warrior epitome of idiocy the cultural appropriation issue like okay so it's bad to say oh that's a cool idea that this other culture does i want to do that that's a bad thing that 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 works against social progress is that what you think i don't i don't see that at all i think if if i if i see something that a black person does or that a native american person does and i say hey that's a good idea i should do that and they see me doing it their their response should be flattery i mean they they should be like oh that's cool they they took my idea that's cool i mean if it's something where where they're they're making money off something and I steal it, like I steal their idea to make money off of something they created. That's a problem, right? I mean that that's 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 an actual theft of property because I'm now, you know, taking profits away from them for something they created. Um, but I mean, and, and that happens all the time in the business world. You know, they make you know tiny little superficial changes to something like Coke and Pepsi. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Coke came along first. It was a cough medicine. You know, and then Pepsi basically did the same thing. It's slightly different. Pepsi's not the same as Coke. But certainly the existence of Pepsi is eaten into Coke's profits. You know, but, it, but and that happens, you know. So really, even if it's kind of a shady thing to do, it's still not something that we'd want to outlaw. Because it's just part of the way things work. You, somebody creates something and you like it and you do it. All right, but for some reason, it, the rules are different when you're talking about races, and particularly black people. I mean, I don't hear white people talking about cultural appropriation, even even in this media narrative, where, which could be mostly, if not entirely, bullshit. Um, I don't hear it coming from white people. So uh, it's just like this weird social justice warrior made up problem cultural appropriation and in, in working along with their idea of open borders it's it's even more insane because what they want is for us all to be you know all the races all the cultures of the world to be geographically close together you know but we can engage in cultural appropriation so they want us in close proximity with one another but not sharing not uh mingling our cultures at all so they want us totally divided on culture, but living near each other. I mean, it's, it's a recipe for disaster, chaos, and war. It's, 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 it's beyond preposterous. So if you subscribe to both of these ideas, I mean, you need to wake up. You're a useful idiot for an agenda to basically enslave humanity to a handful of elites. So you know, wake the fuck up, basically.